13.1b, Solving Inequalities. Inequalities solve just like equations, except if we multiply or divide by a negative, then we must flip the symbol. or the inequality. Let's see this in example one. First, let's move the x values. So we subtract 4x from both sides. This gives us negative 2x minus 7 is greater than 1. We then add 7 to both sides. And this gives us negative 2x is greater than 8. We then divide both sides by negative 2. But remember, we have just divided by a negative, which means we must flip the symbol. And then write x is less than negative 4. This is not our complete answer. We must graph it and write the interval notation. So, to graph it, we draw a line that has arrows on each end. Usually, you can just mark the zero point and your number. And then, you graph. So, we'd put an open dot at the negative four, and we know it's less than, or we follow the direction of the inequality symbol and fill that in. This is going off to negative infinity, which means we have parenthesis, negative infinity, comma, negative four, parenthesis. This is our answer. Let's look at example two. Here's example two. We subtract five from both sides. This gives us negative four x is greater than or equal to eight. We then divide both sides by negative four. We just divided both sides by negative, so we must flip the symbol and make it less than or equal to. We now have x is less than or equal to negative two. Let's graph this. Remember, mark the zero point and your number on the line. We start with an open dot, but since it says or equal to, we fill this in. And then it is less than, so we go to the negative infinity direction. We then go directly below the graph to write our interval notation, which is parenthesis negative eight, comma, negative two, and since it is or equal to, we use a bracket. This is our answer. Remember, to solve an inequality, we solve it just like an equation, except if we multiply or divide by a negative, then we must flip the symbol.